Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and what we are going to do today, today we are going to play with T71CMCD uh, this is the tank which I never ever featured and this vehicle is pretty nice it is like T71 dub but without auto loader this is pretty much the same tank and it can definitely work also boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you are curious what kind of equipment setup i recommend especially uh for a field modifications aka when you have two setups remember index page there is always for you uh equipment setup is here field modifications are up here uh, and many and there is many many other things which you can find so keep this in mind fellas um feel free to use this page and what do we have we have a very very uh, good start honestly I don't really think start is bad by any means and what is going to be our goal our goal is going to be to spot the enemies and to shoot them in the same time I know this might look quite silly goose thing um, but I have a feeling this should work very very well so in the same time we are going to spot everyone who is playing around this area and in the same time if I am going to do the things properly I can shoot as well obviously it is kind of risky um, I cannot say it is risk free and you know easy peasy you can shoot them all the time but if you are doing everything properly you are able to use the double bush and if you are using double bush tanks like Progetto or I suppose to say plays uh, like Progetto is making is not going to work whatsoever uh, but keep this in mind fellas this is one of the best if not the best map for a light tanks obviously we are having a losing spawn or at least uh, usually we are having a losing spawn uh, or usually you are losing from this um, side of the map i suppose to say but there is a uh, there is a chance enemies are going to make silly goose mistakes and if they do obviously um, we are going to win as well so speaking about this typical gameplay i believe you noticed i am moving in front and back like crazy mother trucker um, and the main reason why am i doing so is um, i am changing the angles all the time how am i moving right and since i am changing the angles all the time how am i moving there is a different different uh, uh, gaps in this tree and you can spot um, people so much better and this is very important thing to say it truly is plus on top of this uh I think at this point we can be a bit involved into the cap and I believe we can try to outspot this IMBT or Comet or uh, Hotkiss so let's try to do so um, this is the start for us two minutes into the battle we have our 1000 which is completely fine let's keep it up let's keep it up fellas oh mm. uh oh -huh. uh -huh. Hello there, how are you doing? Not the best shot by me, to be fair with you. Uh-huh. Hot kiss. Unfortunately, we missed the um, shot, but that's okay. And hot kiss is down to one shotable. This is very good, and this is what I really want to see. Whenever this guy will die, we are going to have so much better situation. I can promise you that. Ooh. Okay. Now we know where enemy light tank is, good. Enemy light tank was sitting here in the dip or ditch, however you would call this, nice. Um, I am returning to the same position where I was before because I think at this point we can be even more involved than, uh, than we was before, right? And once again, the answer why so um, is quite simple, enemy team lost the heavy line and this is quite rare situation to be fair with you usually enemies are winning this side without bigger problems whatsoever but luckily for us uh, it went completely different way this time meanwhile we have our is3a who is trying to make as much pressure as we physically um as he physically and possibly can and it works obviously well in our favor once again this is only the start we are going to craft way better um position and way better bushes for ourselves um, that's quite interesting i am spotted in this position this is very very weird 
and I wonder who spotted me. This is the question. Do they have someone here in the back, for example, E25? Because from the caliber gun, um, I would guess uh, that was E25 who is shooting us. That's completely fine. You might think I am sitting and I am feeling bad. No, no, I am feeling very, very good. The thing is, we are spotting this light tank and this light tank is not going to enjoy himself. In fact, he is feeling heat already. That's good. Uh, moving on. We should be able to spot ISU and two Artas, at least hopefully we can spot ISU and two Artas. Now, the main question is where they are. E25 is sitting here, that's fair and that's nice. Arta is sitting over there, another Arta is sitting here as well. I hope this ISU is not close to Arta yet. No, what do we have? And ISU is here, okay. So look, this battle wasn't super duper hyper turbo epic. Um, you can say whatever you want, it is not the best battle in the world of tanks, but in the same time, I believe we did as much as we physically and possibly could, um, being, uh, being a light tank in this matchmaking. That's fine. We have two and a half thousand. It is not a big deal, especially when we were focusing more on spotting than doing damage right whenever i am playing in the city map i know okay i need to do damage i need to do this i need to do that i need to do this i need to do that whenever you are in the open field i am always uh, tempted to spot more than to do damage myself just how it goes anyways 1.2 thousand damage 1.6 thousand assisting damage so it brings us to 2.9 thousand combined which is good thing we are um third by experience and we are fifth by the damage and we made quite a bit of profits now what we are using on this tank and what the flying gave this vehicle is this vehicle is a brother of t71 da and t71 da is auto loader light tank it has kind of equal fun uh, like 1357 um and uh, it looks it looks very, very similar speaking about those two tanks, although not everyone knows how to play without a loader and some people are struggling with it. So T71 C um, M C D is perfect option because you have the same T71 da but without auto loader, right? Speaking about the guns which you can use, obviously it is no brainer. The top gun is so much better because you have more alpha damage, you have more penetration, you have more DPM, you have pretty much everything better, right? So you don't even need to think um, what to use on this tank. And uh, let's go for round number two, shall we? And we are back with probably the best matchmaking, if I can say so. Uh, top tier light tank fellas tier 7 against the tier 5 um, enemy heavy tanks are literally useless I'm speaking about the lower tiers because we can shred them like there is no tomorrow 145 millimeters of penetration is good uh, more than good enough uh, to deal with everyone plus on top of that if we really need to um, shoot gold we have 210 millimeters option so this is absolutely insanity if you know what I mean so Let's see what we can do now. We are opening our game by going like this. And in fact, I think I am going to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, watch this. I am going to take this bush. Ooh, I won't take this bush. I won't take this bush. I don't even think about this bush. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Cavalier, you mother trucker. You know what have you done? You know what have you done? That's rude. I was trying to get into the bush and I wanted to beat the living crap out of your team and you, what have you done? And this is the thing which I am saying, it is not really fear for the enemies because once again, I don't really think tanks like light tank should ever be a top tier. I know this is very, very controversial opinion and this is weird, but I truly mean it and I want to believe this is, um, this is way, way, way too strong, especially if the person who is playing with the light tanks, he knows what he is doing. But obviously, um, in the same time, we can have some fun, uh, some fun in the same way, right? Because uh, being bottom tier all the time, battle after battle, battle after battle, it is not fun. And sometimes you want to slaughter enemies and sometimes you want to show for, uh, you are the boss in the game, right? And this is how it looks like, this is how it works. Anyways, uh, 
What am I thinking about? I am thinking about being a bit more involved in this situation. I have a feeling they have someone who is sitting here in the back. So what we are doing, we are trying to go through the open field and we will hope uh, um, for the best. Obviously, we want to slaughter them. I see we are losing this battle by quite a humongous margin already. Um, but this is okay, fellas. We are still alive and we still um, are able to do many many bad things for the enemies believe me for us this battle is just starting it's not like it is game over it is gg that's it we are not able to do absolutely anything believe me this is only the start for us and all we need to do we need to open our eyes and we need to start punishing them whenever they are going to make um one or another bad decision and bad decision they will make believe me fellas bad decision they are going to make so um have you seen how fast everything changed? We were losing the game, we were losing the game, we were losing the game, and now we are 1000 ahead, speaking about the hit points. And since we have time, we have still 7 minutes left, what we are going to do, we are going to join um, the fight on the field. I'm not going to go directly for them, because it wouldn't be wise being a light tank and going like there is no tomorrow against the medium tank or against the other light tank. But what we can do, we can try to use the um, distance, right? And we can make sure enemies are not going to enjoy themselves. So let's see what do we have. We have the LTG who is thinking about flanking. And he's thinking flanking is a nice option. And in reality, it is not beautiful this guy is dead this is exactly what i want to see now we are going to go in the middle of the field and the reason being um we are going to have a very very nice crossfire on the people who will try to go through the open field and this should definitely happen fellas they have cover one they have easy eight they have um t67 we are feeling completely fine Speaking of feeling completely fine, pay attention at this. This is a beautiful shot into the cover one. Cover one started panicking a bit. This is another beautiful shot into the cover one. And uh, one more shot into the cover one. Too bad that wasn't penetration, but this is all right. Now... I need to go on the field once again. And luckily for us, we have a lot of one shots. Luckily for us, fellas, we have a lot of one shots here. All I need to do, I need to craft a bit better angle. This guy should be dead. Nice. It is still possible to win this game. Five minutes left. We have plenty of time to play with. We have plenty of time to play with, fellas. Unfortunately, our ELC drowned. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, they have a lot of HP as well. Okay, let's try to deal with this guy. What I want to do, I want to kill one shot. For obvious reasons, right? Killing one shot is very, very a good idea. And this is a smart idea for obvious reasons. Um, okay. What we are doing, we are trying to escape, kind of. And we need to start building distance. We need to start building distance. That's what we need to do. Cromwell is very, very dangerous tank. But I don't really think he understands I am moving like this. This could be a very good game. This could be very, very good game, fellas. Okay, speaking of this being good game, how about this? And how about this? Okay. The guy who is fast, he is dead. What to do now? We are trying to escape a bit. Not by much, just a bit. And we want to see them moving through the field, right? That's what we want to do. I could go and slaughter Arta. But honestly, I don't really think this is going to be a very wise option, if you would ask me. 
At this point I am going to load couple of the gold ammunition for the carrot for obvious reasons. I see this T67, he is down to one shotable but doesn't really matter to us. This guy is dead, that's good. And at this point we are slaughtering this carrot or avi. I want to kill this T67 for obvious reasons. Oh my bananas, you naughty bastard with a high explosives. T67 should be here. This is not exactly what I wanted to have, but this is what we have, fellas. Mm. I don't really think we can win this, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we cannot. That was a good go. I was trying to do absolutely everything what I physically and possibly could. I don't know where I could play, how I could play differently. Maybe, just maybe, I could take alpha one position so the road uh, to um, for us would be so much longer, you know. But that was a good game. I am very, very happy. And once again, I mean... Let's think about this for a second. What one player have done in this game, fellas? Um, I believe we don't need to say enemy team was better team than our team was, right? And it is kind of unfair. We had three gentlemen who did over 1,000 damage, which is uh, um, which is nice, right? Uh, rest of the team, unfortunately, did not perform it that well, right? And we still managed to get uh, like 3,500 damage and 808 uh, assisting damage. By any means, enemies played well and they deserved to have a victory. By any means, and they did everything properly. But this is just a showcase what... What experienced light tank player can do whenever he is a top tier if you know what i mean uh, so yeah that's quite interesting one anyways great game i'm super happy let's teleport for round number three shall we and we are back fellas so the third battle we have a tier eight tier seven matchmaking very very interesting unfortunately we have a losing spawn which is not very nice but oh well not not much what we can change about this so what we are going to do we are going to play on the field but we are not going to play on the field no skill what do you mean playing on the field and not playing on the field can you make up your mind sure thing i can this bush is absolutely adorable and amazing we can spot everyone here we can spot uh people via the gaps like so if they are crossing somewhere here especially here obviously um and i think there is a gap here where you can spot and in the same time we can easily escape so we have um Number two option, you know, Aka escape option, if the things are going very, very badly. Uh, and at this point, I am not thinking about doing too much damage. I am not uh, um, thinking too much about this. All I want to do, I want to be in the right position in the right time, right? And this is what we are working for currently. I know we have some people who decide to be kind of aggressive here and i have a feeling this is not going to be um very nice ending for our team since we have um well since enemies has a lot of people who are going down like this and plus on top of that enemies are having some sniper schnitzels here uh, and that means we cannot really uh, go somewhere here right because it is way 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 too complicated now pay attention at this this is why i am sitting in this position because i am going to spot guys like this t20 and if i am going to spot guys like t20 obviously they are going to take one for the team this is the main reason why you are sitting in this position and not not somewhere over there because if you will sit somewhere over there you see how those trees are going to behave those trees are going to be like your worst nightmare because they are going to give uh, some kind of calm for the enemy forces and in fact if you have time ooh. And in fact, if you have time, even a better option is to um, go there, knock those trees and come back. This is even better option. Anyways, what is happening? 
enemies are making quite a bit of pressure for us. Our team needs to escape before it's too late because uh, soon they will go in front like there is no tomorrow. And how we are going to deal with this, we are going to sit um, in this typical position and from here we are going to try to defend our base. And this is exactly what we want to do and this is exactly what we are working for. Plus on top of that we can knock this tree down just like so. So it is going to give us even more protection against the enemies. And that's important. It doesn't really matter I'm spotted. It truly doesn't matter fellas. Um, because I needed to knock this tree down. <laughs> and excuse it. And now we are playing in a very good position, in a very strong position as well. So look at this. It is not going to be that easy for enemies to spot us and we can beat the living crap out of them. We can even get a bit more involved just like so and watch this. BAM! I said BAM! He is thinking about blind shot. Oi oi! Oi, oi, I'm spotted. Who the flying F spotted me? That was weird. Progetto, okay. That explains a lot. Progetto definitely could spot us. Meanwhile, no complaints, no regrets, fellas. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Look at this. Kaboom, kaboom in the face. Kaboom in the face. Bam into the side. Very nice. And uh, now we need to eliminate him from the game. Bam in the side. Beautiful. Now look at this. Just tiny touch closer. Beautiful. Bam in the side. Very, very nice. Can we get one more? Maybe. Unfortunately, we cannot. How about this light tank? Can we eliminate this light tank from the game? I need to lower the gold for this gentleman. And uh, bam. Ay, ay, ay. I was so close for killing him, but the hashtag never lucky. Okay. That's completely fine. Let's talk this battle what happened. This spawn is a losing spawn and enemies did absolutely everything properly. There is nothing to say, there is nothing to do, right? So looking into this, um, enemies have advantage, they have this, they have this, they have this. Everyone who is playing here is going to get PSD and playing somewhere over there is just simply stupid because whenever enemies are going to make pressure like this, they have our, um, our cap and our team hardly can come back, right? Unless enemies are relatively greedy and if enemies are greedy then they are going to get slaughtered but at this point when someone is stuck here people can go like this and like this and they can eliminate them right so yeah unfortunate but that's world of tanks for you so let's report into the end of this game let go surprise surprise we lost <gasps> who could expect that well once again, losing spawn in the game, nothing what you can change about this. Uh, so this is the score, this is the situation. Enemy was us did an absolutely amazing job by going into the dip and by uh, clearing the field. They did absolutely amazing job. So what do we have? All in all, it is not that bad of a performance, uh, but obviously it's quite sad. I did not manage to get into the bush in time. I needed to escape just tiny touch earlier. I needed five more seconds and I would be fine. But it is how it is. Anyway, we made a bit of profits that's nice and, and and after three games our performance is 2000 damage and 1000 assisting damage fellas it is not bad whatsoever i would call this session a great success uh, and it was interesting games overall at least i want to believe so so i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace